Hey guys and welcome to Trip Channel 11 and today we're going to be making this uh, Rolex ad. I love watches, especially watch ads because they usually have a lot of interesting visuals. We're going to be remaking the ad on the left but uh, because I needed a model I decided I had I wanted to model it from scratch and I'm also giving away this project on my new website which is Blender Everything. It's actually not a new website, I'm just revamping it and uh, just making it uh, a website where you can download free stuff uh, like models and uh, startup projects because usually I would host them on Google Drive or Blender Market but uh, it takes to those are just too many steps that I wanted uh, so I'm making it very very simple to access uh, the models. I'll still have the main projects on my Patreon and Gumroad but uh, uh, for projects like this like uh, this watch series actually this is going to be a series where we have uh, maybe three or four videos uh, because remember I'm trying to make remake the ad on the left uh, the ad you saw in the beginning I just did that as a by the way because I already had the model uh, made and I decided instead of just uh, showing you a plain model I just decided to show it off in a, in a visually interesting way so I, I made just camera moves and uh, I duplicated the watch and that's the watch you you are seeing me modeling here uh, those uh, pinkish lines that you're seeing those are created using shift e uh, when you hold any edge or edge loop and hold and use shift e uh, you can make it you can turn it into i think is uh, an edge crease i think uh, it just makes the edges sharper even when you have a subdivision surface it's a it's a nice way to create uh, sharp edges without using uh, the bevel modifier if you don't want to use the bevel modifier because remember the bevel modifier always adds uh, resolution but uh, using shift it doesn't do that so yeah i'm just creating the watch here i'm using a bend modifier to bend uh, the, the, the just basic stuff nothing complicated and uh, again you can just download the project file from my website and examine the project yourself it's, it's still work on progress at the the website so there isn't a lot of content uh, there and uh, another reason why I'm, I'm, I'm creating the website is because uh, uh, YouTube is they changed their algorithm actually they change it quite a lot nearly <laughs> every week I guess and uh, yeah, so tutorials don't perform very well, uh, so they usually don't push out notifications like that. That's why you see that uh, even other YouTube creators, Blender YouTube creators, are not uh, producing as many tutorials as they used they used before. Uh, they're just doing voiceovers uh, because uh, uh, YouTube just wants that uh, really fast. Uh, if you do a step by step tutorial, they don't really perform well. But uh, I still want to make those because I know there is still interest in those so um i'm launching that website as a way to get people to to, to get used uh that uh, if they don't find uh, if, if they don't get notifications they can always check the website uh for new content and uh, it's a simple website i'll, I'll miss mostly be posting free resources here there and uh, download uh, f uh project files that you can download that have shown in my tutorials and even previous tutorials instead of just uh dropping them on google drive because they they become harder to find uh or just using uh uh blender market as uh, the the hosting site service so yeah here i'm just creating some materials and uh, i'm just very simple stuff here i'm using the i think it's called the spin the spin tool to duplicate these uh these uh, minute minute indicators and uh, our indicators around to create that uh, it's very very basic stuff and uh, like i said uh, i'll recommend you check out the project files and uh, take a look at this watch yourself and you can also maybe just move things around make it yours and uh, share the project files and s s see s see what kind of art you can create yourself and uh, you can look at my lighting i'm using a lot of mesh lightings i'm, I'm not sure if i show it here i, I use a lot of my mesh lighting this is where you, where you have a mesh and uh, maybe use a gradient uh, so that you create a light that is sharp at one side and uh, then fades into another side uh, it's what you can see here i'm using it here and it's just a gradient on a texture sorry on a plane uh, that is that has an emissive 
a light here i'm just adding the numbers but uh, yeah gradient lights are really really great for this i they you can easily create areas of uh they, they really create good reflections and refractions uh, so if you learn how to use them you'll see them quite a lot being being used in uh, uh commercials and uh, uh vehicle uh vehicle renders uh, you can see here how you, you you can't really get those gradient uh, reflections with area lights because an area light is just one uh, bright source of light so it, it just the only way to make it fade is uh, add roughness uh, to uh, to the mesh or to the material but uh, here if you if you're using a gradient light uh, you can have a gradient start from white and then fade into black uh, so giving off less light and they're very very great at uh, making good reflections uh, but uh, like I said, we are trying to create the ad on on the right, but I needed a watch, so I modeled the watch, and this is what uh, you, you're seeing right now I'm doing. And uh, if you want to follow along this project, look at those gradients, especially at the uh, wrist metal thing there. You can see those gradients are really hard to, to achieve if you don't use uh, a, a gradient light, or uh, what, what are they called? Yeah, 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 I'll just call them gradient lights. So yeah so um, i'm going to also leave a link to that uh, to the ad that we're going to be trying to recreate uh so that you can have a look at that i'm going to just create a post on my new website called blender everything and uh, that's where you on the same page you will download this project file uh, as as is and uh, the next stage i think we're going to be making some sh some ice uh to show yeah, basically to, to recreate the, the, the scenes we're seeing here, we're, we're going to see in the in the ad. Um, and, uh, yeah, I, I'm doing some compositing here uh, to uh, do some color grading, add some lens distortion. And uh, yeah, anyway, anyway, uh, you can let me know in the comments if you like this type of content and uh, what else you would like to, to see. If you have any suggestions or ads you want us to see, you want you want me to recreate. Uh, you can send those on uh, on my Discord, share them with me as well, and I'll take a look at them. I usually take in a lot of uh, our examples from the community and uh, recreate them uh, because Blender is, is quite great at making this type of content. So, And it's much easier, much faster to learn than creating a character animation. And much easier to learn, easier to, to learn a gig. And uh, yeah, jobs are always available because uh, a lot of, uh, startups are always trying to find uh, people to make these renders for them anyway um that's it yeah pick up the project file on blender everything uh, dot com and uh the next video will be the the other scenes we see in the in this ad thank you for watching see you in the next one